find a bottle into the glass and raised it to her lips and just before she drank it she said take a Okay, now that I'm finally done with my jam session, which is totally going to get muted. <laughs> um, now we're not doing too much today. We're just going to do a little stream, I think. Um, I'm kind of bored, so just figured why not. Um, maybe we can mess around in a, just a project for fun, or something like that. Um, so, <laughs> um, I went and, uh, I watched the rest of, uh, people are going to hate me for this, but I never finished Breaking Bad. Okay, I just finished it, and I know it's old, I know it's been around for a while. I just finished it um, a couple days ago with a friend of mine. I never really got around to doing that, because at that time I was quite busy uh, with, I think I was still in school, <laughs> and some other things, so. Um, anyways, uh... We might pop in this project. Um, I'm going to spend a little time in here, though. <clears throat> I haven't given much context on this project, by the way, in particular. Um, something that... Um, I just haven't talked about too much. And this is the first time I'm streaming it, so... So the session front end open, we can close that. Yeah, I was doing some uh, performance tests earlier with um, Wolf Thorn, not... Um, not Battle Chest, which is the project I'm in currently. Um, I'm actually hoping to do a video kind of explaining um, the difference between the two. Um, most likely during this weekend coming up, um, or maybe even tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday, I think. No. Yeah, tomorrow should be. I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm thinking either during the weekend or Friday. Um, we'll do something on that just to kind of touch base on everything uh, that we're working on. So, <clears throat> but right now, um, yeah, not much is really known about this project. <laughs> to anybody I've 
really spoken to. Um, really only my close friends know about it. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, what I will say is it's kind of like a, um, kind of like a battle simulator version of what Wolfthorn was, or is, and, um, it's not really as large scale, so it's, you know, it's easier to manage for me. Um, the goal is I'm hoping to have this become something that, um, I can showcase within the next couple of months or so um, after I get everything sorted and I can have like fluid conquest games and stuff with AI um, and use that to kind of um, you know be the first launch uh, get people introduced into the lore um, since this goes pretty large scale um, and kind of get people familiar with what it's all about um, that way, when Wolfthorn comes out, people are um, more um, familiar with everything. Um, since it's quite a lot, you know. Uh, and at the same time, um, depending on sales, it would help fund Wolfthorn's development since I'm actually. Um, <clears throat> you know, I'm running quite low just paying out of pocket for everything that I have to uh, pay for for the project, so that's why things have been kind of slower lately. Um, and we just haven't really... A lot of the things I've been doing has been behind the scenes. Um, not really that much announced, um, which is kind of to be intended. Um but, yeah, um, lots of stuff going on. I guess I'll just leave it at that. Anyways, um, this is the second Conquest map I started working on this morning. It's really just a jumble of shit. <laughs> I kind of just got excited with an idea, and I'm like, okay, let's just throw it all together and I, th I did this and like I don't know like within an hour I had all this together um, and I was testing a game but it's you know once this is all smoothed out obviously it'll look a little bit more like what I want it to but um, I didn't really come with the best approach for this this was more just a test um, I would have rather started with nothing, but I ended up starting with the last um, landscape I used for the other map, um, which is our current main conquest map for this game. Um, and um, that was kind of the basis for this, um, except obviously this is more mountain, mountain-ish, mountain-y, whatever. It's more mountains, <laughs> and it's higher up, so, um, I kind of, I kind of wanted to, um, can't even speak, I kind of wanted to draw some inspiration from Underworld in this, which I really need to look at some references for, because I clearly am just kind of going on a whim here. Um, it doesn't, you know, it's more or less just, um, this map is kind of a tie-in for the lore of what this game is centered around, um, which, um, I won't really talk about yet, but, um, once it can be more, I don't know, I just started writing it today, once it can um, become more in line with the rest of the timeline that I've written for the game, um, which spans across, 
like 6,000 years. Um, it's, you know, it'll be something I can talk about more comfortably. Comfortably, I can't speak. I really can't. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't the best idea to stream. I am sort of drinking a little bit, but... Yeah, didn't hear it from me. Um, well, you totally did, but still. So, I think we're done kind of talking here. I just kind of want to go over that. Um, <clears throat> if anybody comes in and has any questions, um, feel free to ask. Um, I know not many people are going to watch over this, but if anybody does, um, it's just some stuff going on currently with um, with me and the projects and just everything I've been working on lately. So, um, yeah. Um, good stuff. Um, a little bit nervous starting up this new project and just seeing where it goes, but I think, I think it'll do good. Um, just need to, um, keep at it, um, like I said, one bit at a time, so the main focus right now is this conquest mode. Um, I actually started working on the instant action menus today. This looks a lot like the classic Battlefront games um, in like Lord of the Rings Conquest, a lot of the pandemic era stuff. Um, pandemic being the developers of those games, right? Uh, I think it was, what were they called? Pandemic Studios or something? Well, we refer to them as just pandemic, but um, <laughs> I know in today's society that can get a little mixed up. Um, anyways, um, yeah, those guys made all those games, right? So this is a lot, this is very similar to those kinds of games, right? Uh, the template is almost identical to start with, um, but obviously this is going to get changed up. Um, I'd like to have more options in between here too, so not sure what I'm going to do there yet, but for now it works, you can queue maps, you can't select, there's no mode selection yet. Um, <clears throat> but you can queue the different maps here and load them up, so that works. Um, the only thing I need to do is I need to set it up with a game instance so that the queue actually is um, propagated to the game instance and it runs um, during the entire game, right? Um, just like you would in you would have in like Battlefront 2 or uh, Lord of the Rings Conquest, games like that, right? So, very similar. Um, thank you for the cheer. Uh, welcome to the stream, Lootmonger. I think you are new, or maybe you've joined me before, I'm not sure. <clears throat> I haven't been on here in forever, so... Apologies if I don't remember. <laughs> Anyways, um, I wanted to just do some environment stuff today and then test the map queuing, or tonight rather. Um, I was going to just play some games and chill out, but then I was like, eh, there's nothing I really want to play right now. Um, wanted to kind of get my mind off this shit because I've been dealing with like bugs and um, front end optimizations, all that fun shit today and doing it by yourself is like, well, you might as well sit down in a psychiatric hospital and like just fucking stay there for weeks on end and then come out and you know, you're like a little bit stable, right? <laughs> Not really. Um, it's a lot. Um, mentally, it's a lot. Like, yeah, it's a bitch. Um, 
especially for like open world RPGs, right, where you're doing all these things and you're wondering why things are happening, but you don't really know. Yeah, it's it's a lot. Anyways, sorry, I'm just talking so much today. You guys can tell me to shut up if anybody joins. It's like, dude, just shut up. Just tell me. So, I'm trying to think with the design of this map because I don't even know what I'm really doing here. This was all just, like I said, this was just to test the, the concept, really. It wasn't really anything. Um, <clears throat> this wasn't carefully made or anything, right? It's just... That's why I still have the landscape all geeked out and everything. It's not really... <clears throat> this was more or less to just cover the basis of what I want the play area to be, so... Um, because, I mean, you have your boundaries like this, right? So you're not really going... I'm alright if it's not all the way out here. It doesn't need to be crazy, because this is going to be a castle, and it's going to be multi-level. So, um, unlike the other maps, it's really not supposed to be all one flat landscape. You're supposed to have, like, a multi-level castle going on. Um, which, again, it's going to take some time to figure out how I'm going to put that together, but... I think the best bet here is just to um, <clears throat> maybe start with just the castle design um, and not worry about the landscape. So <clears throat> I might hide this or I might take, um, better yet, I might take a new level and create one just for the castle so I'm working strictly in that area. Um, the thing is, if I did this, I'd almost have to take, I'd almost have to take the, um, like the landscape and put it in something else, I don't know, or not the landscape, the uh, sky, I think I'll just hide it for now, um, because really, um, if you're going to do like a castle on like a mountain top or a cliff or whatever, I don't know. Um, you really want to have like the foundation of the castle built first, right? And you want to know like the design of it, um, how it's going to actually be formed. And then from there you can <coughs> adjust the landscape and, you know, so on and so forth. Um, but I don't know. Let's look up some images. So, I doubt I'm going to get anything good, but... Like I said, um, I kind of want to draw some inspiration from, like... Um, what's that one castle? called really yeah I mean I'm not really seeing any good images here what I'm looking for Start with one area at a time then. So really need to start with like the entrance, right? So
I don't know if these castle walls are really going to cut it or not. Might have to make some changes, but... <clears throat> Not really liking the landscape. Okay, maybe we'll just hide it. Instead of doing it that way, I'm going to do the show flag so I can toggle off the foliage also. Which I don't know why that's showing, but... Procedural... Isn't there a flag for that? thought there was, but not instance. Didn't mean to click that. I don't know, I've actually never really done that. <laughs> That's grass. Grass layers. Okay, this is a little easier to work with. I honestly think getting rid of the landscape would probably be better for this map, and then I can just build on top of it with whatever idea I have. Um, without having to worry about it. <clears throat> I almost want to sketch this out before I do this. But. None of this is really set in stone. I'm just trying to see where things go and where they don't go. First of all, how big do we want it to be? We should start with the outer edges, so. Probably about to right here, and then to here, and then the outer extents on the left and right. which we can make doesn't have to be full full size or anything but I guess it'd be kind of cool if it was um, maybe about right here is good for now right. I guess we don't have as much room not mess with the corners or anything because I'm going to go in and actually fix that. 
fix them. Could use these for made these. <coughs> but I would still need like a um, I would still need like a whatever you call these things, like the wall top parts. Ramparts, is that what you call them? like these and a mix of different objects but The only difference is right now we're using the triplanar rock materials for the um, texture of the castle for now. Yeah, I don't know about that. 
I have to put the landscape in its own level just to edit this, but... <laughs> Yeah, castles are hard to make, man. I mean, I don't know if I want to put like a tower here or. I don't really want the entrance to be over here anyways. I want it to be like more center or here actually would be good. Um, I don't really think I have any like corner pieces for this shit though. That's the thing. I mean, you're not really going to go up here anyways. Um, at least not for the time being, so I'm thinking... Is there like a one-sided? See, none of this is really what I'm looking for exactly. I kind of want like a. Let's see. Um, no. Yeah, I don't really want to replace all this shit. This is going to be. though. Damn. No, let's, let's just keep it how it is for now. I'll close it off for now because, like I said, I'm not really, like, my priority is, is not having players be able to get up on top of here. This isn't really the play area of the map. <laughs> it's just kind of a... This part I don't know about. of each of these, or at the end of each of these walls, I want to have like a tower. <clears throat> or something like that. And then these need to be opened. That's why I was trying to change the up right now like do like all right 
Yeah, these need to be even. 
All right. So, what do we turn off? Landscape. Why is what? It's showing it's all visible again. But it's not. What? That's why. <coughs> okay. So let's do this. Let's flatten out this entire portion here. I'm actually thinking about just redoing the whole landscape. Um, that would probably be easier. Or can I just reset it? Um, whole reason I didn't get rid of it though is because I was going to actually use some of these trees and stuff. Anyways, so... Mm. No, maybe... Maybe I'll keep it. Um, I'll just edit the... Sure, if this is the right. No, it's not. Yeah, see, that isn't gonna work for me. I need this to be all one flat level to start, and I can go around and change everything. So, Let's see. unless I could just flatten it like this. That's the correct height. Or it's pretty close, at least. And then I can just raise everything up. Oh, the things I do to save time. Ridiculous. And that's looks like it's taller than the other part, which here is pretty low. Um, Edges are gonna look like shit, but whatever. It's fine for now. Not really what I had in mind, but <laughs> I guess whatever. this whole portion over here too. That's a thing. It's like, <laughs> I didn't even realize how big the castle area is and then I just try to put it all together. So, oh uh, yeah, that's pretty big. of a castle yet, but... I 
Yeah, see the problem with this though, is it's all gonna be uneven to start. It's gonna be really hard to go and fix everything. That's the problem with this approach. But if I can keep this and I'll save time with the background and everything else, which I don't know. I, can, I mean, I can fix this. It's just going to take time. But then again, I don't even know exactly what I'm doing with the uh, design to begin with. So. I think I'm just going to keep it how it is and I'll just edit it from here because probably be best for now. <coughs> I mean, it's alright if it's a little uneven in some areas with the whole landscape thing because I'm going to still have to do the flooring shit and everything. And figure out what I'm going to do there. It's alright if it's a little ruined too, because it's kind of the whole idea. Um, is that this is an old castle, so it's not in pristine shape or anything like that. So, totally okay if it's not 100% all the same. just came in to say hello. Probably bored like I am. Yeah, I don't know how much longer I'll work on this for tonight. Probably just a little bit, but at least get something more comfortable on.
cold or something, I don't know. Nose is always running and shit, and maybe it's just allergies, I don't know. Probably like what it is. <clears throat> My voice is all fucked up. <clears throat> So we'll work on this just a little bit more. Just want to fix some areas up. Then we'll uh, move on to the gaming portion of the stream. Um, I'll probably restream for that because I'll change the um, title and category and stuff. Um, and I'll just do that for a little while. Um, now though, really like that. It's cool. Um, <clears throat> I want to try to get the flooring situated here. So yeah, um, like I said, I don't know about the uh, <laughs> the way this is set up. I'm thinking. I mean, I don't want to do this, but I'm thinking of just re-adding the landscape. And, uh, thing thing about this, I don't know. Why is this not creating foliage types? I have to save all these as foliage types, so... I'll save that one. I don't know why they're not saved. These used to always automatically save for me, and I don't know why they don't do that anymore. <clears throat> so I'm just going to. Uh, I don't really want. I don't really want to do that though, because this is like. This is like perfect. How I want it. Like. Besides the. I mean, at least for the background portion. It's actually really good. Fuck, man. You know, it makes me wonder if anybody else gets caught up on this sort of shit, too, when they're, like, designing levels or anything for their game, where they're, like, over these little stupid, minute things, like, you think would be, a, like, a simple answer, but it's not. It's, like... Do you want to save time doing this or save time doing that? And like, you can't really have an in-between a lot of the times. It's like, it's kind of how I was with performance stuff today with not this game, but um, Wolfthorn, um, or regular Wolfthorn, because I had to go in and fix some bugs that were irritating the shit out of me. Um, <clears throat> thankfully, I was able to solve most of them. Um, I kind of have a private build on itch for that right now. It's uh, completely private, though. Uh, it's going to be that way. Unless people... I'll probably do a, a key thing where I'll hand out some keys again, but it's for people that really want to help, not just say, um, you know, this sucks. This, you know, I'm looking for people that are constructive, <laughs> specifically, because I've had people that are just very... I think that was before I had... Um, that was a demo one year. Yeah, I had people... Uh, See some pretty mean shit. Um, 
but you know, that's how it is. If you're not pen and paper accurate with everything. <laughs> but <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what what causes that sort of thing, but I think I am just gonna keep everything and go over it. I don't know what I want to do with the floor for this yet. Not too sure. Probably something in here. Needs to be flat though. Like that is actually pretty close. Let's do that. is getting this all lined up. I can always raise or lower it, you know, it's not. Um, one and done thing here.
one that, like right here. How low would that be? About that low. So, I mean, I can have multiple levels, but ultimately, it's just an experiment to see how that would all work. Um, for this game, it needs to be as streamlined as possible for the navigation to, you know, be less prone to errors and shit like that, so. don't talk about personal interactions like that on my streams um, as much anymore just because uh, you know we kind of move on um, as time passes and that was a while ago you know I was starting out so it's to be expected um, but I think I've brought it up in the past where I've had people uh, just be mean for no reason, really, um, other than, well, I guess jealousy. I don't know what, what there is to be jealous about, but... Ultimately, when you're doing shit like this, people just want to see you fail. Um, not everybody, but some people. Mind you. Um, and they'll just do anything in their power to make you quit. Um... And not constructively saying you should rethink your design choices, blah, 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 blah. I don't know what I'm saying. <clears throat> you get the point. Um, just saying straight up, you know, things that don't benefit anything. Um, and I think I've learned to ignore that. At least for the most part. I think I've even done some uh, YouTube videos where I talked about my interactions with certain people in the past, and um, I was a lot younger then, so I, you know, I just kind of didn't really have much of a filter, I guess. But um, yeah, it's, I think it's about moving on and finding uh, 
only constructive criticism and ways that are, you know, responses that actually help you as creator or, you know, <clears throat> so on and so forth. That way it's, you know, nothing's mean about it. It's just, this is how you can improve it. Here you go, you know. And then it's about being open. Um, as long as I can be open like this when, you know, say it becomes, say Wolfthorn becomes a big, you know, sensational hit, right? <laughs> Just a long shot, but, you know, say it does. I start getting more people, you know, interact with, um, interact with, you know, the stream, social media, Steam, Itch, if I'm still using that by the time I get on there, which I probably won't be, um, then um, you can expect a lot more of this open, upfront talking because I think it's important. Um, you know, obviously leave as um, as much emotion as you can all that sort of shit because nobody wants to sit here and listen to Mr. Cries a lot and drinks fucking 20 beers and passes out kind of thing, you know. Nobody really wants to stick around for that. <coughs> but um, I think what people lack is just open, just talking when you're creating something so large, you know, say it becomes a success. A success would be something that gains a lot of traction. Um, you know, because regardless of whether something is well received or not, if it gains traction, I mean, you, that's tells you that you're doing something right. But then, you know, there's other things you may be doing wrong. So you go in and fix those things and then say that's all good, you know. It's, people are satisfied, you fix the bugs, major concerns. People are happy. Um, then you really got something good. Um, Hoping that that's how it goes with me. Yeah, I'm hoping. Um, worst case scenario is, you know, people don't really care for it. There's too many issues. If there was too many issues, I'd never publish. So, it's a thing. That's why I've been very careful about what I put out. Um, but if there are too many concerns, even then when you think, yeah, you got everything, and you go and you publish, and people are like, no, no, it's not. Um, which I think will be avoided as long as I can do a closed beta. Um, on Steam again, have some, you know, group of people tested, some friends, maybe some random people. Um, I'm thinking about <clears throat> 100, 200 keys, 200 stretching it, but I think 200 would be good, 100 to 200. So, and you'll get those groups of people to test it out, give thoughts, opinions. Um, that's going to be the biggest help. Um, I'm just trying to think of incentive um, 
what I could do incentive wise because if I had like 200 testers I can't just hand out all the keys for free because that's 200 missed sales that I can't afford to lose you know not knowing how successful this will be yeah I don't know um, I got another good friend of mine who's working on an RPG um, I'm not sure if he's done much testing other than what he did in his Discord server, which we all kind of signed up for. It's a smaller testing group, but they're not talking in the hundreds or anything like that. But I'm pretty sure he did something similar um, to what I'm referring to, which I think... I'll probably talk to him about, see what he has to say, because, yeah, it's another one of your best bets is talking to people that I know, getting some feedback on it, but you have to take the initiative to do that. It's not just going to land on your doorstep unless you want it to which is not good. It's called being unprepared. <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> wow, I'm just a chatterbug today. Holy shit. I think nobody has to listen to this, <laughs> but if anybody goes back and watches the archive up to this point, which, like, I, I doubt anybody does, but if anybody does, then, yeah, you, yeah, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> Let's see, stone, stone floor, so I need to select all these, and I need to... Um, fill the collision so that way there's no navigation being generated underneath the uh, floors. I don't know if I just crashed it or not. <sighs> nope. Okay, good. So we have our navigation on top there like we should. Shouldn't be underneath it though. Yeah, I think that's should be good. All right. that just turned red, but okay. What the fuck? It's not adding my team tag or something. It's completely fucking up. I know it's not. It's getting this completely fucked. I don't know. I'm gonna redo the fucking flags anyways. I haven't fixed that yet. I'm just gonna test that so how it is. and why it's so loud. 
mean, it's just obnoxious as shit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix that for sure. Hopefully, I'm really hoping I can fix it within the next couple of weeks. Um, I was gonna try to reach out to a, a friend of mine who I haven't spoken to in a long time. Um, he's really good with like Conquest AI and shit. Um, but unfortunately he's busy, so, you know, kind of on my own here, unless I can hire somebody, I don't know, you know, I really don't, I can't just outsource help like that, though, it's too complicated for a project like this. People sign, I don't know, whatever. I'm not gonna get into that, but. I'll have to just fucking figure it out. I gotta do everything else. <clears throat>
might just save it where it's at for now. the uh, base of it. Now it's just building it up and making things interesting. Which, I don't know. It's going to take a while, but Okay. What was I doing here?
All right. Uh, I think we're done here for now. Let's check our GitHub. Should probably push what I have for today. I do want to rename this though. Why it's this green. Today. So we added the instant action menus. So we started working on that. Started working on instant action menus. Um, Began design of second conquest map. Bagand Um What else? And other changes. I don't know, whatever the hell else I did, I'll figure it out later. Discord. Um, by the way, guys, you can see all these updates in the Discord um, in their corresponding channels. Um, I now have channels for um, <clears throat> every game, you know, project that I'm currently working on. So. Um, each one has a dev updates channel. That's where everything is currently stored. Let's get a good screenshot here. As to what we got so far. It's kind of cool when it was, the moon was over here. I felt like the moon over here, I could have it over here. Oh, I don't know. It's not a big deal, I guess. But for some reason, I can't get a screenshot because. The clouds are in the way. <laughs> Out of my way. <laughs> Why did it, you know, I didn't even notice that, but it, kind of made it worse there for a minute. Some work on the lighting, but that'll come with the rest of the, the uh, design. It's 
I figure it out. <laughs> My main concern though is getting those, getting the conquest mode actually finished. So you need to um, fix the flag points and work on the AI some. Uh, I don't really expect it to be perfect, but it does need to, some things that I need to fix for sure, or at least to try to address so that way I can do a playthrough um, without, you know, little to no errors, hopefully, or stalls or anything like that, you know. Uh, you don't want the AI freezing up on the battlefield for no reason. <laughs> the last thing we want. Um, let's also put our log for earlier on here. past couple of days here so that we can keep up with this if we can then I have no doubt we'll be back on track here. Just gonna get back into the groove of this. So another thing I've been trying to think about, um, which I really want to explain in, in a video, is um, the thing, the whole thing with the demos thing, it's been going on for the past couple of years here since we've been in development with this project. Um, it's kind of been on and off, you know, there's been multiple demos, quote unquote, released. And it's usually, it's like, okay, why don't you just have one, you know, set demo. And then that's what people play, right? That's what you use for people to judge your game and decide whether or not they want to buy it. Um, the whole thing with that is I've been kind of doing a more interactive demo. So, um, in other words, I've opened up my project to more people um, in that way. So... Um, there's been, you know, a lot of changes, a lot of developments over the past couple of years. So each year, I like to kind of do a reevaluation of where we stand with the project, whether or not it's, you know, um, perfect or not, you know, um, production ready, I guess, or not, um, and I try to trim that down and pop it into a demo form and then I put that on. Right now we have it on itch, but like I said, it's a closed closed um, access, so um, I'll probably be generating keys for that pretty soon. Um, 
once I can get it to where I want it. There's a couple more things I want to do with it over, you know, the coming weeks here. Um, sort out things like performance issues and so on and so forth. Um, at least do as much of it as I can. You know, it's not going to be 100% um, bug free or, you know, performance, you know, smooth as butter. You know, it's not going to be crazy like that, but try to get as good as I can. Um, it's a big game. There's a lot of things going on. Uh, much more than I anticipated at first, and so I um, know how that whole thing goes. Spending the last couple of years cleaning it all up. And trying to improve it. Another main concern is the rig, but rig for the uh, main character. Um, his arms are like, you know, it's kind of like a weird, I don't know, spaced out really weird, I guess. So, it's another thing I'm trying to look at. Uh, so little things like that, too. It may seem quality of life, but then when you go to play the game and you see it all the time, you're like, eh, this is... This is kind of weird. <laughs> Probably doesn't bother me much because I see it every single day. <laughs> but for someone that's playing it for the first time, it's pretty easy to notice some of the uh, little quirks and bugs and things, you know. Which, I don't know, hoping to solve soon. But. Some of these things I've been saying I was going to work on for years, and uh, they just kind of, you know, didn't get fixed, so. Or areas, there were other areas I was working on, like the story and so on, but <clears throat> even that's being reworked, so still, and I haven't really touched it too much. I've done it a little bit. It's more on writing than it is in in actual, you know, playable states. Which is to be expected, but Yeah, so that's the whole thing with the demo. Hopefully we can get that figured out soon. <clears throat> Um, so basically the 2023 build is what's up right now since the, um, I said I didn't maintain the itch page anymore and that I wasn't going to do the whole demo thing anymore until the game was, you know, a little bit further along, but then I'm like, yeah, nah, you know, really when you think about it, the way this game is now, it really hasn't been long you know, development that long um, because there's been changes to the point where it was, you know, it was reworked entirely. I ended up redoing everything. Um, it's kind of one of those things where not this project, Wolfthorn. I keep fucking talking about Wolfthorn. This is Battle Chest uh, sub sub uh, I guess, a uh, precursor game to that game, right? <clears throat> it's meant to be released first. Um, for reasons that I stated, but... Anyways. Yeah, I don't know. Just kind of talking to myself, I guess. I don't know what happened with the weather. It's supposed to be thunderstorm. 
And the cloud cover is just supposed to be like... I have it at like four or five, six maybe? Not six. More like 5.2. I don't know what the fuck I had in it. No, I'm, now I'm not sure. <laughs> Alright though. I know I'll come in and tweak it later anyways. Anyways, yeah the whole thing with the demo I'm, I think I'm feeling a little better about it now. I just it's hard to kind of explain how the whole process works and how gone about doing it because it's wasn't really the smoothest but uh, you know the thing about that demo is it's always going to be there it's never going anywhere um, it may be closed closed access right now but with it being closed access it's not going anywhere you know I just don't want random people down in the game and going like what the hell's going on here, you know, this is a full game, you know, it's, if it is, you know, and people don't read, that's the thing, <laughs> so it's like impossible for people to, it's like come up with some stupid ass system to make sure people don't enter the game that don't acknowledge that it's a demo, which I would have to just come up with like a screen or something, you know, you scroll through an agreement or something, I don't know, I don't fucking know. But it, it's not even worth it. I just feel like leaving it closed access for now is probably the best bet. And just handing out keys to people that want to test it, you know, want to be a part of it. Um, and that I'm all for. But having people randomly come in and just, you know, not give constructive criticism... I'm going to treat it like it's a joke, because there's a lot of trolls on there, unfortunately. It's, it, I'm not, I'm not for that. It's not what I'm, it's not what I'm there for. But then, then again, itch, it, itch.io is, it's a great platform, but it's not really meant for, not really meant for games like that. It's more like a, you know. streamline for smaller indie games and indie horrors and stuff like that. It's really what it's been. Always kind of been that way. Um, there's RPG games on there, sure, but it's not, you know, it's few and far between. Um, I guess my point is I'm just happy with leaving it as a closed beta for now. Um, or not beta, but access, so just say closed access. Um, yeah, because at this point I need people I can, you know, even somewhat trust now. I say, hey, you know, you're taking this seriously like I am, you know, you're going in, you're testing it, you're finding issues and, you know, enjoying it, granted, but you're still finding things to improve the game, right? That's what it's all about. It's not about anything else, really. It's And, of course, well, you or whoever's testing it, enjoying the game. I still want people to enjoy the demo. Um, I don't know. Just kind of spitballing there, but... Alright. <clears throat> I'm going to stop this for now. Close this project. Holy shit, I talked a lot. 
Yeah, hopefully nobody goes back and looks at this. Be a uh, quiet and earful, earful for them. Whoever does, hopefully you don't. But whatever. If you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. I don't care. Alright, I think I'm going to switch to a gaming stream now. So let's go ahead and do that for a little bit. Alright. 